All it takes is one of those uh, neutral bees off stage. Oh, so that might be it. it. Yep. Oh, yeah. almost lived it. Almost lived almost it. Almost lived it. Yeah. Wonder, slightly better DI. Yeah. I feel like it potentially could have, right? Just maybe trying to DI that up a little bit more. All right. Albert Fresh coming in. Four stocks in front of him. Absolutely. And I mean, gosh, ugh. if I was coming in to just polish off one stock of of any character, DDD would probably be one of the ones I would not want. It's scary, you know, but I feel like Violet has a pretty good run into it. Yeah, you know? you're right. Out of any character, like, you, you start, you know, up B, and, and it leads to probably 70% on DDD. Oh, of course. Yeah. Well, and then, uh, I mean, just so, so much range to space out Gordo. Like, mm -hmm. I, I feel like of San Ambrose's lineup, I would want Violet to be the one killing yeah. DDD. Yeah, for sure. You know, hopefully he can do it without losing too many stocks of his own because he's still got, uh, you know, a repeat of last game or last True. set. So, you know, he's got that that grudge match that he had. You know, <laughs> that run back. All right, going to buy list. But yeah, I, th I think Violet has a lot better ledge options against uh, the Gordo as well. Uh, you know, dropping from ledge, up airing. Um, yeah. No, Even probably B, just like but... jump, jump from ledge and air, probably. Oh yeah, air it. just covers. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but DDD is going to be able to space around Violet a little bit better. Uh, Violet being so slow, but mm -hmm. has those ranged attacks. So I mean, I'm curious to see how both players play it out. I'm not too worried about DDD's reflector here, since Albi doesn't really let the right. arrow go too often. Uh, I mean, a lot of Violets don't. Yeah, pretty much strictly like a like an edge guarding tool right. sending it back for the gordo okay yeah i like that now we're seeing this in we're seeing this ddd starting off a lot like with a double jump in the air with a falling nair um and that's that's catching lb off guard yeah. um and i'm hoping that we're going to be able to see lb kind of adjust to that and, and maybe bait that out and find like an up air you yeah, know already at 100 for albie very scary in this situation does not, cannot afford to lose two these socks right fun fact about ddd is ddd in proportion to his normal fall speed has one of the fastest fast falls in the oh, game really? mm -hmm. it's uh it's like ddd and link in proportion to their regular fall speed have like the fastest fast yeah. fall so, so they can change their acceleration in the air so quickly, which is one of the things that makes their um, their oh, nair so, so good scary. of Albi to stall with the up B, the first one that missed. That's just to stall so they doesn't get hit by Gordo. Yeah, absolutely. Doing his job taking that one stock. Yeah. Uh, maybe two even, just giving an easier time for their uh, their anchor. Yeah, doing a good job of just like doing these traps right, conditioning the the double jump from ledge. Uh, and, and then calling that out with the Nair to, to close that stock out, and the damage is just getting tacked on this so very quickly. Scary. Uh, we, we really need to see. There it is, yeah. We need to see more up airs, I think, from Albi trying to get, him, get under the uh, DVD. He's trying to catch a lot with Nair. Right. I think his, uh... I, I, that's exactly what I think. I, I, because, like, that's pretty much where we're seeing this DDD start all their combos with a double jump in into a nair like a yeah. fastball nair yeah so he definitely just needs to find uh some up air or something Ooh! nice there it is there it is stop the bleeding yeah uh, very well losing enough. the stock but 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 definitely stop that bleeding and it's still anybody's game going yeah. into the final bit here that would have been very very scary for albie if he had lost that second stock now imagine uh, if the the next character is the Ganon though. <laughs> that would be crazy. That would be ab absolutely insane. I think. Yeah. <laughs> uh, especially keeping it for like the pocket. Right. <laughs> uh, that'd be cool though. I like that. I do think you're right though. I think that probably was the Ganon. Yeah. And, and and that's a good spot to put the kind of heavy like just like you know something to kind of cheese out a few socks before that anchor gets there. Right. Definitely, they did their job. Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> but that being said, I would love if this was the Ganon. <laughs> it would be so funny. Yeah. Plus, I mean, I feel like the thing about Ganon is it's it's just fun. Like, it's fun to play as, it's fun to play against. Like, it's one of the few characters that I yeah. genuinely enjoy fighting. I, I agree. There's big stakes when you're fighting Ganon, but it also oh, yeah. it just feels real good to combo Ganon. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Smashville. So, do you know if whoever loses this is sent into a loser's bracket? I don't. I don't I, know for sure, but I, I think I feel like. Hmm. I, I I thought there maybe was just from because yep. Albie said winners finals is the oh, next stage, which implies a loser side. But it also just because it also could be just because we speak in those terms all the time that it's just finals you know what i mean right, right, it's right. just like the way smashers talk so this is scary because this is the exact same setup and matchup that we saw last time except albi had one more stop mm -hmm. so very curious to see if he has found the the answers to the sephiroth and what he's going to do uh try to pull back this lead already right. 50 percent though unanswered yeah, wow. this, I, I mean, this is exactly where Sephiroth's specialty is, is in that, like, ledge trapping. Uh, and uh, the CMU Sephiroth is showing their expertise at doing just that. Doesn't find the Skittles on that roll-in. Ever so slightly misspaced. Yeah, knows better than to be rolling in against uh, Byleth in that situation. Could lead into any number of things. And that's, like, one thing against Sephiroth is, like, Sephiroth low profiles so many things, so like like throwing out a short hop like bear to try to like punish an out of shield option just a lot of times really doesn't work against Sephiroth, even though he's so tall. Right. You know, I had a bit of a, a Byleth phase for a little bit the last couple months, but uh, I mean, Albi is a better Byleth oh. than I am, so not the time nice. to do that. That was great. Absolutely. But I, I would personally like to see a lot more just like trying to catch uh roll and tech situations with uh the arrow like neutral b or like maybe like just charge the s smash as neutral and try to like space around that right it's, it's not much distance and it kills so early that like you can really afford just to kind of let it rip a little bit absolutely especially in uh like tech situations oh the uh, Mac, almost the scary. maximum amount of skittles applied 39 percent done off of the back of it yeah and this is this is devastating for that final stock oh and this this sephiroth that's just looks so good. comfortable yep and that's, that's it cmu G taking it over saint ambrose yeah very well played for us uh, all players both sides absolutely yeah that sephiroth played really really well and in, in that situation very clean Hats keeping off. out yep. the uh off uh, to ledge, not letting him get in. Just see here. Is it a best of five? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Either way, though, that was uh, a couple of really, really Really awesome sets of uh, of crew battles. Yeah, definitely a great job by all players.